In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to charge your PS5 controller even when your PS5 is in rest mode. So by default, this will be turned off, meaning once your PlayStation is turned off, the USB ports on the front will not work and your controllers will not charge. So to change this is very simple. First of all, make sure you're logged into your PlayStation account, and I believe this does change per profile, so make sure you're in the account that's yours. Now I want to go to the home screen here, and once we're in the home screen, we want to go up to the top, go over to where it says settings, and then we're going to scroll down to where it says system. Now from here, we want to scroll all the way down to where it says power saving, and then we want to go down to where it says features available in rest mode, so click on that. So from here, what we can do is click on this top button that says supply power to USB ports. Click on that section there. And basically it says to charge your controllers, plug them into the USB ports. If you select three hours, power will be supplied only for that long after entering rest mode. So we're going to click into it and we can either have it off, meaning your controllers won't charge at all. You can have three hours, meaning after three hours after you've turned it into rest mode it will stop charging so it will charge for three hours or you can have it always meaning that whenever a USB is plugged into your PlayStation 5 it will always charge now this is quite a good setting but it's really up to you depending on your needs so just select the one you want and then you can go ahead and do that so the next time you turn off your PlayStation 5 if you have your controllers plugged into the USB port it should stay charging and you should be able to next time you use your PlayStation have fully charged controllers so that's basically how you do it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped. And let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make, either about PlayStations or any game in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.